actually thought that honking his horn would get me out of my house and into his car. I am not that easy. My take, he is taking this relationship for granted. My take is who asked you for your take? Another Monday morning. Mentally, I'm still hitting the snooze bar. I had a particularly frantic weekend hosting Daddy's annual pool party for new associates. Oh, memo. Must petition Daddy to stop hiring lawyers who look yucky in Speedos. Top of the morning, milady. What? The honking? Dee, we were late for the movies. Good morning, everyone. Hey, Mr. Morning. It's a big day today. Yes. It's a very big day. Now, as you know, literature is an outgrowth of a country's political structure, which is why I am going to introduce a very special guest, an international expert. Boutros Boutros Gali. <laughs> a diplomat so nice, they named him twice. You know, it is your social studies teacher and my blushing bride, Miss Geist. Surprise! <laughs> Morning, Hammer. <laughs> now, Miss Geist and I have teamed up to create a splendid multidisciplinary class project. As Mr. Hall said, history is a country's most important asset. Well, I didn't exactly say that, dear. I mean, of course, history is a wellspring from which a culture but, emanates. I thought we but, settled this. Well, let's discuss it some more tonight. Well, maybe discuss it. Oh, honey. In the hot tub? Oh, yeah. oh. Now, we're going to be breaking the class up into teams of two, and each team is going to have its particular country. Uh, it is. And your job will be to develop a creative presentation. And uh, not to put too much pressure on you, there will also be a fabulous secret prize. Mr. Hall, Miss Geist, Dee and I call Italy. You may not be partnered with Dion. Hello? As if. We're perma partners. Oh, but this time, we're going to randomly draw your partner and the country you'll be profiling. Uh, I think it's a major imposition that I have to be teamed with anybody. Amber, I know 30 people who feel the same way. <laughs> <laughs> as our study partners and countries were drawn, like the final moments of the Miss Whatever pageant, just before Regis calls out the name of the winner, and the first runner-up has to fake being happy. Murray, you will be presenting... Jamaica! <laughs> <laughs> and you will be working with... Sean! <laughs> we got Jamaica! We the money! We the money! We the money! <laughs> Amber and Grace. You have Japan. Amber. Farah. The hippie freak. Do over. <laughs> Dion. You'll be covering France. Yay. With. Sure. Share. Sure enough. Much Nick. Oh, the exchange student. <laughs> he doesn't speak much English, baby. Oh, well, check this out. He won't have to. <laughs> she got you. Ah, okay. Cher? You'll be working on Canada. Already this rakes. With the uh, Felice Lesser. <gasps> Here, Felice. Felice, loser. 
Oh, you are so out of the running for the fabulous prize. The bugged out pairings were topic one all over school, particularly my draw, Felice Lesser. At Bronson Alcott, her geekorexia was legendary. <laughs> she is such a disaster. She's qualified for federal relief funds. Please, let's not try and judge Felice. I mean, we've barely even talked to her. Wrong. I have been picking on her since second grade. <laughs> And to my constant amazement, I have not had to repeat an insult yet. Mm. There is so much there. Visible pores. Ugh. That hoarse laugh. And she lives in Beverly Hills 90211. Why, yes, I am thrilled to be studying France with my Calvin Clyde underwear ad worthy partner. D, I know I poo pooed the idea before, but I think ballroom dancing is a great couple's activity. <laughs> Compared to what? <laughs> Shut up. What do you say we start now? Sorry, I have a prior research engagement with my partner, Schnurr. I think you should start off by finding him some vowels. <laughs> you know, I should really make a study schedule with Felice, but I don't even know where she eats. Oh, try the Siberia of lunch tables. Past the thespians? Way. Starting from our table, the pinnacle of popularity, go beyond the chalks. Hang a left at the shop heads. Bear right at the future William Mars mailroom. Curve around the arties on one side. Ouch. You'd think art students would embrace the color spectrum. The girls' softball team on the other. Go to your left and head due east, just beyond the mouse potatoes. And just when you think you're off school property, there you'll find your partner, Felice Lesser. Cher, oh, don't wave. Pretend like you're fixing your hair. Felice, is she waving at you? No, I think she's just fixing her hair. Heaven help us all. And Cher Horowitz. You mean Cher don't hate me because I'm beautiful, Horowitz. How are you supposed to do a project with her? No, she'll probably just want to talk about clothes and parties and boys the entire time. My advice is concentrate on your work. And if it comes up, find out if she knows I'm alive. I invited Felice to my house so we could have uninterrupted studying. That way, if the conversation wasn't going to be stellar, at least we'd have access to unlimited snacks in the satellite dish. You know, we'll need some help to do something interesting on Canada. It is really not known for much. Well, Canada is rich in natural resources like lumber, lamb's wool, and Michael J. Fox. Oh, total TV star. <laughs> Take a load off, Felice. Really? I have the same bedspread. <laughs> wow. What are the odds of that? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're gonna focus on Paris, the left bank. Uh, please, one more. Uh, speaking the slower, Mrs. Dion. Look, I am speaking the slower. You know, Schnurf, if that is your real name, I think you are milking this exchange student thing, all right? We need to, like, seriously get into this Japan project. Otherwise, our grade will be, like, bogus. Chill, Grace. I hired a sushi chef and rented a karaoke machine. We're done. What? You're a trip. Uh -huh. But I also think we need to cleanse our chakras. Dig deep into our souls to create something together about Japan. The Zen nation, Yoko's motherland. Grace, listen to me. You need meat. Even after logging, Major hours, Felice and I were having trouble uncovering interesting Canadian factoids. There has got to be more compelling stuff. Come on, Felice. Um, Felice, share, relax. I know what everyone calls me. Flea's loser. <laughs> if I ever did anything to hurt you or enabled any member of my general circle, I totally apologize. I don't know how you handle it. Well, it's okay. I, I just try and black it out, I guess. As Shakespeare said, what's in a name? <laughs> <laughs> You're amazing. If everybody made fun of my name or the way I laughed, I don't know what I'd Wait do. a minute. People make fun of my laugh? Yeah, but as Shakespeare says, what's in a laugh? <laughs> <laughs>
breakthrough. Hats. Oh, well, they look great on you, but with my texture, I get hat hair, which makes me look No, rough. no. I mean, why don't we highlight our travelogue through Canada with hats? Oh, like a Mountie hat. And a knit ski cap and a hockey helmet. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll embellish over lunch. Eat lunch with you here? No, Cher, I can't. Huh? Brutally rebuffed by Felice? Did I do something to upset her? Well, finally, you ditched your backward little pal in her semi-automatic lab. Amber, vacuum pack it. I'm sorry, I should be more gracious. Uh, with Cher's influence, I hear that Felice is drooling a lot less. <laughs> I suddenly understand why she didn't want to eat with us. You invited her to dine here? Without a drop cloth? Cher, that would be totally unkosher. Mm-mm. I got this sandwich from Bernstein's Deli. I saw the rabbi. Then lose the milk. <laughs> I know. They annoy me, too. Let's go. Actually, I need to discuss Canada with Felice. You mean eat lunch in outer Nerdgolia? Yeah, I am not that annoyed. Cher, remember, you are where you eat. Presentation day arrived all too soon. The class was so you -ending. Dee started us off with an evocative theater piece illustrating Paris in the 40s. I was so bored watching Jean-Paul Sartre sip his café au lait. I thought to myself, ugh, he does nothing. And voila, I created la mouvement existentialiste. We were all mucho impressed with the way Dee integrated Snerve into the picture. Uh, is that the end of the uh, presentation, Dion? Well, no, Mr. Hall. That's the whole point. I'm existing. You, we were given five minutes, and I've decided to exist for my allotted time. Yo, Schnurf, how many more minutes? Welcome to Jamaica! <laughs> the land of sea and surf. The world-famous bobsled team. With wonderful sounds of reggae, calypso, ska, and no dumb accordions. <laughs> <laughs> and the entertainers, Bob Marley, Jimmy Cliff, and Patrick Ewing. <laughs> An island paradise. But the best part is... Irene. <laughs> Come follow me, my man Murray, as we bring it down one time for Bronson Alcott. <laughs> Here we go. We were there before Columbus. But this is about the land they took from us. Jamaica's the perfect spot for vacations. The ones who reap multinational corporations. Next time you visit this island paradise, think about the people maybe once or twice. Here is the church and there is the steeple. The slogan of the land out of many one people. Booyaka, 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 one love. Booyaka, 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 one love. Awesome as Murray and Sean were, the highlight so far was Grace and Amber's presentation on the arts of Japan. Grace, the mellow hippie chick, was a black belt. The projects were way impressive. The pressure was definitely on. I just prayed Felice didn't get stage fright. What's the cold country that's hot with culture? Where do you find 
one country and two languages. Let's see. We've got Belgium, Switzerland, but I bet in this instance it's... So, remember, it may seem like a lame country. But in Canada, the can is more important than the da. I just can't believe all those things are in Canada. Well, believe it or oh, we, not, we got it, Felice. Really, uh, very well done, ladies. So I guess we got an A plus, eh? <laughs> Yo, who won the prizes? Oh, you did. <laughs> We want the concert. We want on the front. Hey. Excuse me. I get bruises all over my butt and I walk away with zippity doodle. Oh, no, no. Girls, girls. What Mr. Hall means is you've all won. Yes, the special prize was the experience of working with new people. <laughs> Time out. Bait and switch. What a jip. No, Mrs. Dion. Shut up, Schnurv. Well, that's not very nice. Oh, as if you would know. And my butt hurts. Don't fight. I'm calling oh, my, my father. There's no reason to fight. Come and wait up. We so totally killed. You think? Duh. If there was an actual prize, we would have won. Well, um, I guess I'll see you later or not. What do you mean? First period every day? Oh, sure. I need therapy after that nightmarish project. Can we please go shopping and speak English? That schnerve is such a lox. I think he should have gills and a fin. Well, actually, I think he is a fin. <laughs> Come on. I think we could all use the retail experience. Oh. Am I right, Felice? Uh, let's go to the mall. I'll buy myself my own prize. If anybody uses the word groovy, be ready for a karate chop in the teeth. Hey, Felice. Bulletin, the project is over. That's a freeze dry on your attitude, Amber. Uh, I, I can't go. I have things. What? So, come to say goodbye? What? You're too good for us now, right? As if. Come on, Larry. She even talks like them now. So, did Cher mention anything about my new haircut? Larry! <sighs> Seeing Felice all alone gave me this hideous pit in my stomach. Was I asphyxiating from the stench of class division? Or did I overdo it on the bagel chips? Or could it be, now that the project was over, it was socially unacceptable to hang with Felice? Unless it was sanctioned by the school click police. Whatever, we did have a major bonding fest. random study team experiment had one positive repercussion. After her fake fling with Schnurf, Murray and Dee reinvigorated their relationship. Other than that, all was status quo. Do you think I should have my eyes done? Yes. Preventative, of course. You could put a third one in. Or get those cartoon eyes that go boy, yo, yo, yo. Cher, what do you think? I think I need to take a walk. Where are you going? Oh. You couldn't possibly comprehend. I wasn't trying to prove anything. I just wanted to be with my new, completely hangworthy friend. Cher? I thought you might want half my sandwich. What kind is it? Who cares? It's from Mezzaluna. Why didn't you say so? 
Now, it's not like I'm dumping D for Felice or that this is going to become my regular table or that the so-called cool people will meet, intermarry, and breed with the so-called uncool people. But every now and then, I mean, hello, memo. Thank you note to Mr. Hall and Miss Geist. Felice and I so totally won the prize. 